middle schooler who passed away after his family says he died from a football practice injury. We're going to hear from those who knew Cohen Craddock the best. 13 News reporter Sam DeCoste spoke with his father who described him as Mr. Personality. We begin tonight with Jordan Mead with more on what led up to the 13 year old's death and the efforts being made to relieve some of the community's pain. Jordan. Yes, Amanda Cohen Craddock was here at Madison Middle School practicing football drills just like any other night on Friday. When he was hit in the head, his family told us during a drill, he then died on Saturday just as his eighth grade year was getting started. Now, let's show you some video from earlier today when several of his classmates were outside wearing MMS's colors, black and red. Now, other students at schools across West Virginia, like Nitro High School and Glenwood School, for example, also wore those colors today in solidarity. Cohen was a defensive lineman and his family says he took a hard hit and fell down and they say that he never regained consciousness. Cohen was wearing a helmet during this practice. Now Boone County School Superintendent Matt Riggs told me today that there are additional counselors at the school for any students who need someone to talk to as the community grieves at this loss. Now, the principal and superintendent both said that they didn't want to talk on camera, but they did reveal statements to 13 News Today saying that Cohen was a beloved student, not only by many of his classmates, but by so many community members and people within the school district. Now, Superintendent Riggs also said that at this time, the district is sending their thoughts and prayers to Cohen's family, and they encourage other community members to do the same and to lift this family up during this time. In Boone County, I'm Jordan Mead for Tonight Live. Jordan, thanks. Our team coverage continues tonight with Sam DeCoste, who's also live in Madison. Sam, even though Cohen was very young, he touched many lives in a short period of time. By all accounts, Cohen Craddock was a teddy bear. That's how his father, Ryan, described him to me. He loved love. He loved hugging people. He loved spreading joy and laughter to everybody that he met. Have you ever met anybody like that before in your personal life? Because as far as that I'm concerned, that's who Cohen was to all of his friends and family. He was also very intelligent. A few minutes ago, we were able to meet a very close family friend of his who told me that he was taking Algebra two as an eighth grader, which is about 10th, 11th grade level math. And that's just to show how intelligent he really was. As a football player, he played defensive line just like his old man. And when I talked to his father today, he says that it's hard to believe as a former football player himself that an injury like that can lead to his death so quickly, especially considering that Cohen was wearing a helmet during practice on Friday. Now, his family and friends will always remember Cohen for his larger than life personality, but they're still processing just how quickly this all happened. With head protection, you can't imagine that type of injury occurring. You know, I understand concussions, I understand headaches, uh, but to the point that your brain swells and it, and it takes you off the earth, that's, that's hard to fathom. Ryan also tells me that Cohen, in addition to football, he played baseball and tennis and loved all sports. And he also played video games when he wasn't outside playing sports. And when he grew up, Cohen wanted to become an engineer. He also loved computers as well. Live in Madison, Sam DeCoste for Tonight Live. Roan County High School is lending their support to Madison Middle School and Cohen's family as this incident hits close to home. They said in a Facebook post, we know as a family what it feels like and what the support from people across the state, country, and from around the world did for us. So we're asking all of you to stand in solidarity and show support for number 75, Cohen Craddock. It was five years ago when the community there in Roan lost Alex Miller. He was playing football for Roan County High School. When he died, suddenly he collapsed in the middle of a game. That was in September of 2019. His death sparked change for the entire state. The Alex Miller law was passed in 2020, mandating all West Virginia schools have an AED and an emergency action plan at school events.